So we said that the nutrients that provide us with calories are the carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. But what we want to look at now are the differences in the amount of calories that each of the nutrient provides. Before we get into that, one thing that I want to mention is you will notice that I have alcohol listed as providing us with calories, even though we didn't mention it as one of the ones, um, one of the nutrients that contain calories. And the reason for that is because technically it is not a nutrient. Alcohol is classified as a toxin, and so that's why it's not part of the energy yielding nutrients since it's not a nutrient itself. But I did want you guys to know how many calories it provides, so I have it up here for you. Again, one gram of alcohol will give us seven calories. Now let's go back and look at the amount of calories we get from the ones that are actually nutrients. So the way that we are comparing the calorie content is by looking at how many calories would we get for one gram of each of the different types of nutrients. So we start off with our carbohydrates and Carbohydrates provide us with four calories for each gram. Our protein is the same thing. One gram of protein will provide us with four calories. Whereas when we look at our fats, fats contain more calories. So each gram of fat will provide us with nine calories. Now, these are gonna be numbers that you want to memorize. You're gonna need them when you perform your uh, calculations on your assignment, as well as your um, uh, exam, your exam might have some calculations on there. For example, I might tell you how many grams we have of carbohydrates, protein, and fat in a food product, and you would need to calculate how many calories does this food product provide. In order to be able to do that calculation, you would need to have these numbers memorized so that you can know how to convert the grams into calories. So let's go ahead and take a look at an example. I'm just going to give you this food product here that contains 10 grams of carbohydrates, 5 grams of protein, and 2 grams of fat. And my question is, how many total calories do we get from this food product? So what we need to do, we have the nutritional information in grams, but we need to convert it to calories so that we can add it up and figure out our total calorie content. We can easily do that by looking at our key. Our key is what we have over here how many calories we get from each gram of the individual nutrients. So if we start off with our carbohydrates, for each gram of carbohydrate, we are gonna get four calories. In our food product, we have 10 grams of carbohydrates. If we know that each gram of carbohydrate provides us with four calories, that's gonna be 10 times four, which will give us 40 calories of carbohydrates. Same thing with our protein. We're gonna come here and see how many calories we get for each gram, which is four calories for each protein gram. We have five grams of protein. So each one of those protein grams will provide us with four calories. That's gonna be five times four, which will give us 20 calories of protein. Lastly, we have our fat. Our food product contains two grams of fat. We wanna know how many calories each of those grams will provide. We come back to our key, each gram of fat will provide us with nine calories. Since we have two of them, we're gonna go ahead and do two times nine. That gives us 18 calories of fat. All we have to do at this point is total them up and we get our total calories, which is 78 calories in this situation.